Hello world, Wendy from Cali here, back with our Mixed Manny chat. Just got back from vacation, so my nails are looking rough. But here we are, and let's get started. So today I wanted something bright, but not too bright. So I'm going with this Totally Psyched and Shangri-La uh, to kind of balance things out. It was a very lovely family vacation, so... If you're new to this channel, I'm Wendy, born and raised in California, thus Wendy from Cali, uh, and I just like to do my nails and chit chat, so if you like that, continue watching. If not, you can find other content, because YouTube has plenty of other content available. But yes, most of the time I like using Color Street, and my sister-in-law Carla is a Color Street stylist, so if you don't have a stylist, link below to her site. Otherwise, most of you already who watch me know what Color Street is. 100% dry nail polish. And it is awesome to use, especially on vacation, because you can just get a quick mani done and just be about on your way. And I got to do both my niece Lorelai, who's going to be turning three, is she turning three or is she turning four? She might be turning four um, in July. Uh, and then my niece, Emmeline, I got to do her nails too. And my sister, Michelle. So it was a lot of fun being able to do the nails for my family members. Forgot to take pictures of my sister's Manny. But she basically just used whatever was left over from Pacific Waters. Uh, because her daughter, Lorelai, really wanted her toes done. And so we used Pacific Waters uh, to do her toesies. And she was so happy with them. She kept staring at her toes the whole vacation. Gotta love that. Um, but yes. Um, I miss them already. We've only just returned yesterday. And I'm already like, man, I miss them. It was on Thursday, actually, when we parted ways with my sister, Michelle, and her family. Uh, because they actually live in Utah. We went to Utah. And my brother's family and I uh, stayed in Vegas one more night um, before heading back to California. So, so yeah. But, really nice vacation. Uh, I didn't look at work at all. Not even once. Uh, I did bring my work stuff with me just in case, but just thoroughly enjoyed the vacation. I don't plan on looking at anything until possibly Sunday night just to be prepped for Monday because I know Monday is going to be a really busy day uh, of catching up at work and my project ends that day. Uh, at least the published deadline ends. So, knowing that, it's going to be a pretty hectic Monday. Just another manic Monday. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, what did we do on family vacation? So, I'll just give you guys a recap of what was done uh, while I do my nails. Uh, so, Friday was actually, I took Friday off. And I believe I did a video, so I don't have to talk about Friday, um, but overall Friday spent time with uh, Carla and the kiddos, uh, and Carla made one of my most favorite dishes, lasagna. I am definitely Garfield the cat <laughs> um, when it comes to lasagna, and she made a delicious lasagna which I thoroughly enjoyed before heading out on vacation. So Saturday rolls around. Uh, I was already fully packed on Friday, helped my pops pack up too, because he doesn't really like to pack. So Panda Bear, my significant other, uh, and I helped my pops pack. My mom was already all fully packed. She. She is ready to roll when it comes to vacation. <laughs> She's actually the one that kind of um, makes the family vacations happen. 
Uh, so, Mama Young. If you guys haven't seen the video, so on vacation, uh, my brother had wanted our mom to teach us how to make pot stickers. And so, um, he was like, oh, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to remember everything if she tells us. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to film it. I'm going to film her making pot stickers. And so that's what I did. And I decided, you know what? It's already filmed. Instead of putting it on YouTube unlisted, I'm just going to put it on YouTube public for anyone who wants to learn how to make pot stickers. So if you haven't seen that video, uh, you can check out my channel and find it. It's the last video before this one that was posted. But yeah, that was Wednesday morning before we headed out to do everything else. Um, but I'm going too far ahead, aren't I? Um, Saturday was mostly a drive to Vegas and Panda Bear and I had booked an Airbnb for us all to stay in. Uh, about less than a 20 minute drive from the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, so we left California, got to Vegas early. It was my mom's birthday, so we wanted to surprise her. She loves flowers, uh, and so the Bellagio Hotel, if you guys aren't aware, has a beautiful botanical garden that's free to view inside of the hotel. And they change it up depending on the season and, you know, what holidays are, you know, around that time of year and all that. And so that was, you know, we wanted to sh share that with my mom. Uh, and um, we went on our way. But before we went on our way, my mom was not feeling her best. Uh, she, we're not quite sure what happened, but she might have injured herself while picking fruits in the backyard or something, but she mentioned that her back and her leg was like hurting. And so we had to be really careful. So the original plan was to walk around Bellagio walk over to the M&M and Coke store to make purchases. Uh, and then when it was time for check-in at the Airbnb, we would go check in. But my mom had started complaining about her leg and her um, back and we got concerned. So we only played a little bit of slots. My best friend from grade school Lynn had sent my mom birthday money to, for whatever she wanted to do with it. And so she, my mom had gambled a little bit, didn't win, but she had fun. And uh, we did view the botanical gardens, took some photos. Um, but after that, my mom was not feeling all the best. So um, at that point, it was about time to go check in at the Airbnb anyway and my brother and his family were pretty much in the area so we told them that we would meet at the Airbnb and so that is what we did uh, and we had a surprise dinner for my mom at Palette Tea Lounge and Dim Sum which serves dim sum like all day so they are open for like brunch time. They close at three and then they reopen again at five uh, to serve dinner. And dim sum is what is served. And I read lots of good reviews. I actually had seen a Instagram video um, from one of the gals that I follow that always like go to really cool like food places and stuff like that and so I was excited but also worried because some of the Yelp reviews said that the food was 
you know, too salty or, you know, not authentic enough or whatever. So, you know, was hoping for the best that those reviews were just like, you know, outliers of what is overall, you know, a good, a very good reviewed restaurant. So they seated us uh, right away. We had reservations for right when they opened at five and the table is big enough to accommodate uh, all eight of us, which is great. And the food was delicious. So we come from Monterey Park uh, in, in California and there's a lot of dim sum places to choose from here in Monterey Park. So, you know, why go to Las Vegas to have dim sum when you can have it right at home, right? But my parents actually had good things to say about the food, which made me happy because that was the whole point was to celebrate my mom's birthday and make her feel special and eat food that they would actually love. And so hearing that my mom and dad both really enjoyed the food made me so happy um, because that means that we did good in picking a restaurant that um, they would enjoy especially because it was celebrating my mom's birthday so so yeah that was pretty much our first night uh, on vacation and again really recommend that restaurant in Vegas if you're looking for a dim sum place. It is kind of on the pricier side, so if you're traveling on a budget, I wouldn't recommend that dim sum place. But if you're celebrating, you know, a special occasion or something like that and willing to drop money on decent food, um, Palette Tea Lounge and dim sum. Um... And our server, Jay, was really nice. Uh, he heard, overheard us saying that it was my mom's birthday. So he had a little surprise uh, done for my mom. These longevity buns that uh, were made and brought out to her with a little candle and all of that good stuff. It was really nice. So, so yeah, great way to celebrate my mom uh, and spend our first vacation day. Um, my sister Michelle and her family were already traveling since Thursday, but they were doing their own thing, uh, visiting other little national parks and stuff like that um, in Utah while they headed over to Moab. So Moab was where we're, our final vacation destination was. And uh, so the next day, was a uh, Sunday that's when we were going to check into our place in Moab which my mom booked it from Verbo V R B O Verbo and never used that website before it's kind of like Airbnb but for vacation rentals and so this was our first time using Verbo and you know never know if it's good or bad or whatever um, so we were hoping for the best and my sister's family arrived first my brother and his family arrived second and the rents what I like to call my parents the rents Panda Bear and I arrived last but you know not too far from everyone else arriving but <laughs> so whenever we travel uh, to Utah we love to eat at Culver's because there's no Culver's in California uh, and we really like the the value and the taste of the food from Culver's so we stopped in Cedar City to have lunch at Culver's and then when we got into Moab <laughs> Panda Bear had entered in an address, but it wasn't the address for the uh, vacation rental. It was the address of the on the website of the like 
property management website for the vacation rental. And so we ended up like going way past where uh, the destination was and it was like the middle of the boondocks, middle of nowhere. And my brother and my mom uh, both have Apple phones and have find my friends uh, on their phone. So they like to track each other to see like, you know, where they're at and all that. And my brother texts and goes, why are you guys going so far south? <laughs> so apparently we overshot, but we did end up finding the uh, vacation rental destination and um, the rooms were very different in size. So my brother-in-law Andy was like, we should just pick straws. So originally Panda Bear and I were like, oh, you know, we will let the families that have, you know, the kids. So my sister's family and my brother's family kind of decide who gets like the bigger rooms and stuff like that. But when my brother-in-law Andy says, let's pick straws, we were like, okay, sure. So my sister picked first. She got the shortest straw, so meaning she gets to pick last as far as the rooms. Um, and then my brother got the second, uh, like the in-between straw. And then so Panda Bear got the biggest straw. So of course we're going to pick the biggest room because why not? Plus, it had a bathtub um, that was a really nice sized bathtub and we wanted to make sure that we had that for my pops so that we can give him baths um, to deal with his cancer. Uh, so, um, won't go too much in detail on all of that. But anyways, so you know, we got the biggest room. So. I am one of those that when I travel and if I'm staying in a place for more than a night, I will thoroughly unpack like all my clothes and all of that. I will not live out of a suitcase. It's just not my style. I, and we had a walk-in closet. So I was like, dude, I am unpacking all of our clothes. <laughs> so I unpacked Panda Bear's clothes, my clothes, and even my pop's clothes because we knew he was going to be bathing and showering upstairs in our bathroom. My mom originally was going to, because they were staying downstairs so they didn't have to do the stairs um, when they had to go to bed. Um, she originally was going to just shower downstairs because there was a shower and bathroom downstairs as well. But she didn't like it because it was very, it was a tiny shower, so very claustrophobic, I would say. So, uh, but she didn't want me to unpack her clothes, so I didn't do that. So our first night, because travel took about seven hours from Vegas to Moab uh, with some stops. We like to stop like every one and a half to two hours so that we can stretch our legs. My dad can empty his catheter bag and all that good stuff. Uh, so, you know, we got there, you know, around seven hours or so. So the first night, my sister, Michelle, is really great at planning. She had pretty much everything planned out down to, you know, what places we were going to have our meals and all of that. So we decided that we were going to uh, eat in on the first night because it would be too hard for all of us to like make a reservation and sit down and eat at the restaurant she had chose, which was Sultan Mediterranean food. And so we just picked our meals and my brother-in-law Andy uh, placed the order for us and Andy and uh, Panda Bear went to go pick up the meals. Uh, and so my mom and I shared, well, actually, I should say that my mom, my pops, and Panda Bear and I shared our dishes, um, which we ordered a whole bunch of different things, but um, I especially loved their lamb burger, which I ordered a lamb burger, and it was really good, um, and also the steak. Um, Panda Bear ordered a steak, 
that was surprisingly tasty. The gyro was also really good. Um, I mean, very enjoyable meal. Just not what my parents would normally gravitate towards. So they were kind of like, oh, you know, it was whatever. But Panda Bear and I really liked it because we are big fans of Mediterranean food. Here in Monterey Park, there's a place called John's Kebab that we sometimes will go if I'm in the mood for a Euro Supreme, uh, which is basically just a Euro wrap. Um, but yeah, so that was our first night. And Monday, we had plans to go to Arches National Park. Uh, so at Arches National Park, you have to book a reservation uh, for your car to enter in um, and then also pay uh, for parking um, entrance to the park. Uh, so if you're a senior like my mom who paid for a lifetime membership for national parks, it's actually free. But we didn't know this the first day. Or my mom was trying to tell us, but we totally didn't listen to her. So we paid 30 bucks uh, to get in. Later found out that, you know, could have gotten in for free. But that's okay. You know, the money goes to upkeep of the national parks so we're fine with it um but yeah uh before we went to the national parks we went to sweet cravings which is a really nice little um shop that does like baked goods as well as sandwiches and their food is excellent so if you're ever in moab sweet cravings highly recommend very delicious. Um, so, ordered a sandwich for breakfast and a sandwich to go. I ordered a wrap, a spinach wrap, um, which was a strawberry salad wrap. So it's like chicken salad with strawberries, um, pecans, goat cheese, and a spinach wrap. It was so delicious. Really, really awesome. Haven't had a good wrap like that in a minute. I usually gravitate towards those kinds of wraps, um, but don't really know of too many places here where I live that serve up wraps like that that are that tasty. And I don't usually make wraps like that at home because buying all those ingredients just to make it... Um, is not like it doesn't economically make sense if I'm the only one eating it uh, and I don't eat it that often so it would be like ingredients would go to waste so um, whenever I'm traveling and I'm able to order something like that to eat I do so was very happy with it um, but yeah we went to the National Park Took a lot of photos. My mom was still not feeling her best, but was okay to do hikes. So uh, we did hikes um, to go see a lot of the little, like the arches and all the national park, like sites that you have to kind of walk to. And uh, towards the end, my mom's like, no more, no more hikes. Um, but the very next day we had hikes too, but that day, um, we, um, did more hikes and my mom was like, okay, no more, no more. But Wednesday we went to Canyonlands after, uh, I'm like skipping ahead. What did we do? So we did the national parks on Monday. <laughs> What did we do about dinner? What was dinner the next day? Oh, Milt's. Milt's Stop and Eat, I think was the name of the place. And Milt's Stop and Eat is kind of like this like hole-in-the-wall diner type food. Uh, not too far from where we were staying. 
So Panda Bear and I went to go pick that up. Uh, and so that was our second night. So on Tuesday, again, we did Arches National Park. At that point, we, what did we do for food? We stopped at, I was eating leftovers. Um, so I didn't really want to buy anything for breakfast, but we stopped at, oh, what was the place we stopped at? I don't remember the name of the place. It wasn't very memorable, um, but that's okay. So we had brought leftovers. So we being my parents, Panda Bear and I, um, Panda Bear bought a burrito. I remember he did buy a burrito for himself at that place and I bought a coffee, but that was it. Like we just brought leftovers cause we wanted to make sure not to waste any of our foods. Um, here's totally psyched, all completely done. And next I'm going to put Shangri-La over it. Um, so we did more hiking, more sites to see in Arches National Park. If you have your paid entrance from, uh, the day before, uh, that paid entrance, uh, is good for seven days. So, uh didn't have to pay again. Of course, my mom showed her senior pass, and so we were able to get in free as well. Um, and that was the day, let's see, I think we had left the park, can't remember. I have pictures, but I can't remember like everything we did. All I know is we did a lot of sightseeing. <laughs> so, um, and I don't think that was the day that Emma had fallen. I think that was Wednesday when we were at Canyonlands. Um, but that day when we got home from the national park, uh, My mom wanted to make porridge, or kanji, as some people call it, uh, or in Cantonese, juk, because uh, that's what my dad wanted. So uh, she ended up making that, uh, and I ate some of that because I really wanted it. My mom's juk is some of the best. Uh, but then we were also going to go uh, to Moab Food Truck Park. So really close by the timeshare. Well, it's not a timeshare. It's a vacation rental condo. Um, but very close by there is a food truck park where a bunch of food trucks are. So the parents didn't do that, but all of us, my sister's family, my brother's family, myself and Panda Bear uh, went to the food truck stop to eat. And so there are a lot of different things to choose from. Most of us got food from uh, this hot dog truck that also served like waffles and stuff like that so it was pretty delicious panda bear got the most amazing carne asada quesadilla from one of the other trucks and i got a delicious uh, strawberry lemonade from this truck that did like boba and ice cream so it was a really nice time out it was Good to spend time with my sister's family and my brother's family and, you know, the kids enjoyed themselves too, my nieces and nephews. So that was nice. I think that, so, oh, okay, I remember now. 
So on Monday night when we had Melts stop and eat, uh, we had watched uh, Mean Girls, the musical, because my sister really wanted to watch it. Um, it was... Yeah, both Emma's opinion, my, my niece Emmeline, and my opinion of that musical was that it was like, blech. Like, so, and of course, we watched the original, um, which made Emmeline very happy to watch. She's like, I like this one way better. And I was like, me too. So, so yeah. But my sister Michelle enjoyed both of them, I think. She seemed to enjoy them both. Just Emmeline and I didn't really care for the newer musical version. Um, so yeah. Um, that was Monday. Tuesday. We talked about Tuesday. And... What did we do? It's so hard to remember like everything that's happened on vacation. Just really just spending time with the family is basically what we did. But Wednesday, I knew that we went to Canyonlands. So we all drove um, a bit further out for Canyonlands. And... Wednesday was also when we had dinner plans as an early birthday celebration for my sister Michelle and a late birthday celebration for my mama, um, even though my brother's family and us had celebrated my mom's birthday already. But we ate at this Italian place called Antica Forma. Food was decent. And they were very accommodating as far as tables for us, to, um, for a rather large family. So, so yeah, overall it was a good time. We did some uh, souvenir shopping before then. And I got a really cool shirt that was made at this like t-shirt place that just screens the t-shirt you pick a design you pick out your t-shirt or your sweatshirt or whatever and they'll screen it for you right then and there so that you can kind of custom your shirt which was really fun to do we did that before we went to the restaurant uh, so it was just uh, the rent my niece Emmeline and I when we went to go souvenir shopping because my sister Michelle and her family had already done souvenir shopping earlier um, because they got to Moab before us and uh, so yeah before dinner I bought that really cool shirt uh, and then later after dinner Oops, Panda Bear, my niece Emmeline, and I went souvenir shopping some more. So we got these really cool custom uh, hoodie sweatshirts. Emma and I got like zip up ones. Panda Bear just got a pullover one. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Um, Oh, yeah, I remember. So, on Tuesday night, I think was the night where we stopped by the Moab Rock Shop. Uh, so, I was able to buy some more rocks, stones, crystals, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and that was nice, but it didn't really like completely like fulfill on my wanting to buy crystals so Wednesday night was our last night 
uh, in Moab. Thursday was when we were going to travel to Las Vegas, my brother's family and um, our family. My sister was heading back to her house because she lives in Utah. Um, so, but um, Moab Giants is a place where they have like fake dinosaurs and stuff like that. And my sister Michelle had that on the list of things to do on Thursday. Uh, and originally I asked if we could do it on Wednesday, but they're closed Wednesdays. So we couldn't do it that day. So, uh, when we were driving out of the Canyonlands, I did see it and I took a photo of a fake dinosaur as we were driving out of Canyonlands. Um, so I was already like, okay, I'm, I'm good. I don't need to see Moab Giants. Uh, plus it's not something that my parents would care for, nor Panda Bear. But my niece Emmeline was like, I want to see it. And so my brother's family stayed behind and did Moab Giants with my sister Michelle and her family while Panda Bear, the Rents, and I headed out to Vegas earlier um, than they did. And so, of course, we stopped again at Culver's because <laughs> our last chance to eat Culver's uh, before heading back. Uh, and then we got to Las Vegas a little early, so... Uh, I was able to go to the outlets because there's a store called Sticks and Stones at the outlets that sells crystals. And so my dad and I actually uh, went shopping for a little bit and he picked out a couple of crystals for himself and I picked out other crystals for him, um, focusing on protection and healing and all of that. And if you don't believe in that stuff, that's fine. I personally do believe in that stuff, and so, you know, I put a lot of intention uh, in making sure to charge the crystals, and I'm going to place them all around his, like, sleeping area so that he is protected, so hoping for the best with dealing with his cancer. So, yeah. Anyways, so went shopping there. Then we had uh, checked into the resort that we booked one night at called Tahiti Village. And then we went to eat Thai food uh, because I thought that my parents would enjoy that. So we found this place called DE Thai Kitchen nearby. Um, our resort and the food was excellent let me tell you if you're ever in Las Vegas DE Thai Kitchen 2 was where we went um, and yeah the food was better than Thai house here in Monterey Park I'll tell you that much their Tom Ka soup was so rich and creamy and delicious that's like mmm and if you don't know by now, I will travel for food. <laughs> all of my travels, uh, all of my um, vacations, I usually base it around what food am I going to be eating. Because <laughs> that is what I do. I live to eat. So, so yeah. Um, really delicious Thai food. Uh, then... My mom, my sister-in-law, Abby, and her kids uh, stayed behind at the resort while Panda Bear, my brother, Tony, and my pops and I uh, went to the Las Vegas Strip to gamble for a bit. And... We wanted to go somewhere where there was free parking. Originally, we were going to take the shuttle because part of the fee uh, for the resort included 
a fee that covers like a free shuttle that would drop us off either at Excalibur or the Mirage. Um, but the thing is, is that um, it was already like well past 8 p.m. and we thought that the last shuttle at 11 might have been like too early. Like we didn't want to leave that early. So Panda Bear decided to drive and because he decided to drive, we wanted to find a place to go where there was free parking. So we ended up at Treasure Island and Treasure Island. I haven't been back in like two decades. Didn't not ever have good experience uh, in Vegas. Uh, so it's kind of one of those where I was like, okay, we're going to Treasure Island. I was like, all right, but Anyways, overall, had a good time, uh, but didn't win any money. At one point, I was up. Like, I only, I set aside $100 to gamble with, and I had played this goldfish slot machine that I loved playing, and I was, I got all the way up to like 150 So that was like, I was like 50 bucks up. But then, of course, I didn't stop and I went and picked a different goldfish machine which almost wiped me out went all the way down to like $23 and then it bounced back up to like 70 or so and then my pops and I moved to a different machine and then at that point Panda Bear came by and said it's time to quit because it was already really late it was like 1130 at night or something like that I can't remember it was late so stopped playing but didn't win but I was only down like 30 bucks so for almost three hours of entertainment 30 bucks is not that bad um, but yeah um, we left the casino got home it was like way late well past midnight maybe almost closer to one so, so yeah, uh, <laughs> that was our last night. That was Thursday night. Friday was another travel day. So, uh, my brother and his family were going to go do some more sightseeing near, uh, I think, Whiskey Pete's. I guess there's some rocks that are like painted rocks and stuff like that, um, that my sister-in-law, Abby, wanted to see. So... They weren't going to go eat with us. So, Panda Bear, my, the Rents, and I uh, headed to Henderson because whenever we go to Utah and we pass through Las Vegas, uh, we almost always eat at Juan's Flaming Fajitas because another place that provides good value as far as how much you pay and really delicious food. Uh, so, so yeah, we had lunch there before heading home. Um, we got there early. They open at 11. So across the street from there, uh, is a Chef Fleming's Bake Shop, I think is what it's called. It's a Scandinavian style, European style, like bakery. Um, so really wanted to try that so we panda bear and i walked across the street while the rents stayed at the restaurant to wait for it to open we bought a couple of things to try of course by the time we finished eating at one's flaming fajitas we were all too full to eat um, our baked goods so we just brought them home so I was not feeling the best yesterday. Uh, I had a humongous headache right from the start, like right when I woke up. So don't know if it was like the Vegas air or whatever. Um, I felt great in Utah, like the higher elevation and the clean air is really nice. Um, but I was not feeling the best when we were in Vegas. Could be all the smoke too from the from spending time like three hours in a casino where it's all smoky and stuff the night before might have might have messed me up 
But anyways, um, I mostly napped uh, on the drive home. But as with all vacations, they got to come to an end and ours came to an end yesterday. When we got home, the apartment manager who was dog sitting and house sitting for us um, was here taking care of my dog Buddha and so we got to see her and tell her thank you and and all that good stuff and then unloaded the car which we are so efficient with doing that now like we're so good at unloading the car and I unpacked everything because I'm one of those that I do not like to leave things sitting around uh, I want them all unpacked right away already threw in a load of laundry yesterday and I'm doing another load of laundry today despite the rain um, but yeah that is my vacation these are my nails I'm loving it I feel like I might need to add one more layer let's do it let's add one more layer here because that's bothering me that I accidentally ripped off too much of the Shangri-La on that side so let's throw on one of the thinner ones, little tiny ones, so that I can fix that. But yeah, uh, it was really nice to spend time with the family. Don't know how many more there will be of our family vacations, but while we have time to, you know, do it, um, it's worth spending that quality time oh that looks funky doesn't it I'm gonna add this one on this side too so it kind of matches yeah I can't stand when I have like exposed when it's like exposed the color and it's not like truly matching uh, that bothers me <laughs> But I love the sparkle. This is beautiful. I haven't used Shangri-La, like, I don't think ever. This might be my first time using it. Um, and I really like it over bright colors. It kind of mutes it, but it also makes it look, like, super lovely. Um, so, yeah. There you have it. This is... Totally slicked with Shangri-La on top, and I'm loving it. Let's see how long this one lasts. My nails have been a wreck because I'm in charge of uh, loading the top like bag on the SUV with all of our luggage and stuff, and so it gets really banged up. But yeah, I'm loving it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know this one's a longer one, uh, but if you've watched all the way through and you love the content and you're not subscribed yet, subscribe, like the video, share the content, and I will see you all next time. Peace.